the fuck you wanna be Like I am what I am, I'm just saying Homie, this is me, if only you could see This is who I am, man, understand You can choose to be who the fuck you wanna be What's up everyone? What's crack a We're on that instant coffee grind now Freaking coffee machine broke, so it's not the best. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. Um, I'm about to head off to a pretty big poker game, so looking forward to that. But yeah, just wanted to get some content up for Sunday. Chat about a little something, something. Because there's, um, yeah, there's something that's been kind of on my mind that has been floating around. And I just had a conversation with someone last night that, yeah, really like kind of opened it up again. So it's this. It's this kind of idea of this invisible cultural gap between the west side of Australia and the east side. And I'm going to specifically talk about music, but this is an economical thing as well. But let's just kind of keep it focused um, within music. Coming from my perspective, our perspective, our team, like, yeah, we're from Perth. We're from Perth, Western Australia. And... You know, throughout the throughout this journey that we've been on uh, in this music industry, we've just slowly, slowly, or at least I have personally, slowly, slowly seen this gap, this cultural gap, um, with with the west side of Australia and the east side. And what I mean by that is this this just kind of it's just it, it's not real. It's just this invisible cloak of people not giving attention or much care or yeah, I guess you could say that to the West Side and specifically to like, yeah, the West Coast um, music scene. And and I get it. There's there's a lot of factors that play into this. Like there's so many factors that play into this uh, that is it's very natural. And it's, you know, the distance, like Australia is huge. You know, it's five hour flight across the country. The fact that the West Side pretty much only has one major city, which is Perth. And then you've got the entire, you know, whereas the East Coast, you've got Sydney, Melbourne, you got, you got Newcastle, Canberra, Brisbane, Gold Coast. You got all these, you got all these like yeah, big cities like that you can easily fly to and they're very close to distance. And then you just have Perth, like on the other side of the country. So obviously geographically, like it makes sense. Um, but I'm just talking more on a... <clears throat> more on like a behind the scenes deeper level this is just how i feel no it's this kind of communication barrier that i feel like it isn't um being expressed uh with with individuals on the west coast um specifically like artists managers or whatnot and it's that like i know for a fact right now that there's a lot of amazing things going on in the industry with um with people behind the scenes right now working with one another it's beautiful what we're seeing happening um, you know, we're seeing a lot of individuals. Um, there's only there's there's a few key players right now in the Australian hip hop music scene, and there's, there's literally only a few key players. But everyone's working together and to the to the greater cause, which is awesome to see. You know, you have a few. Uh, you know, we have a few music managers. Um, we have you know, there's a few people from Triple J. There's a few you know like Australian AR like um rep reps and stuff like that working. And then I think there's there must be some sort of connection right now with a few international uh, label reps and whatnot. And it's just this small collective of people right now that are working together, helping push certain artists and just, you know, um, just, yeah, just, just helping one another with connections, networks, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you're seeing a lot of it happen. Like I know Chillin' has had some, you know, some, some cool help. Um, you know, one four definitely had some support from some people and some help behind the scenes. You know, Kid Leroy, you got you got all these collectives of people that are just there's this support, there's this communication, um, this inside, yeah, just like community, I guess, um, with with everyone and all these artists, and it's it's really awesome to see. But then I just feel like there's a barrier with that with the West Coast. And I just like, I don't know, it's just, I don't really have an answer to it. I don't know. Like I said, it could be a geographical thing. It could just, I don't know what it is. It just seems, I mean, I guess it, it, there's not enough going on here at the same time. Like I get it. Like, like if you're going to talk about like the numbers and statistics, like who do we have over here that's, you know, making enough noise to do 
to, to kind of bring that attention, you know, how many of us are there doing that to bring that attention? Like, yeah, I get it. At the end of the day, it's, it comes down to a numbers thing and whatnot, and there might not be enough happening over here for that to be even something for people to be looking at, kind of, okay, what's going on over here? A few people doing this and that and whatnot. I don't know. This is very, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's something that I've just kind of been seeing, like, over the past few months. I'm just like, man, like, how do we, how do we build this? And, that, and that's what it is. It comes down to how can we build the community in Perth on this west side within this hip hop community that radiates enough energy and enough noise and enough respect and 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 and, and reputation and i think it i think it all starts with the the inner community and and you know i was just talking about this with JC and we're talking about we're talking about how like the, just the cultures are just so different like if you're going to go to melbourne this is one thing i've only been to melbourne once but that's all it like takes for me to get this judgment for it all is the Sorry, I need a phone call here. Yeah, there's this there's, there's this cultural difference. And what it is, is like, when we went to Melbourne, when you go to Melbourne, there's this very, very beautiful, like, supportive vibe when it comes to the music over there. Like, the music culture, the live scene culture. Um, I th- The culture there is just so different. There's a, yes, it can be a population thing as well, but it's just the, the community support for, like, live acts and artists and people who are, you know, really pushing shit. Um, it's just beautiful to see. You can feel it. You can see it when you go there. Like when we went to Melbourne, like when we were just going to live, you know, live acts just in um, just certain nights and like just, you know, random venues and whatnot. Just so many, so many people out in the city to watch live um, acts, like local live acts supporting lo- local live musicians. Like there is a lot of that. And then the community talk, like I was saying how, it, like you could see it as similar to similar things. Like when you had Remy, um, starting to come through like you know a couple of years back and when he was like one of the first artists to start cracking those big numbers and stuff there was just this like very big community support and hype for it like this you know this um this this love for being a part of the city like it, the same way like it's the similar thing I always look at it like a Drake's from Toronto like like obviously on a way way smaller scale but there there is that community support there and it did happen with Remy it was beautiful and then it's 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 obviously happening to multiple artists but I specifically see it happening with Kaite a lot with Melbourne that community support that you know people are proud to have her as a musician from that city um it's it's really cool I don't think we really have that in Perth and <clears throat> I think that's one of the things as well that like I said there's a lot of things that are adding into this kind of gap between the the east coast and west coast and it can very easily be um starting with the actual internal um core of it which is within our city and the and the communication and the support for local musicians people don't go out in the city to go and support live artists like it's just not a thing like our nightlife over here is so interesting like it's not like it's not anything special but there's not much there's not much happening at the end of the day. Yes, it's small, population small. But there's no, there's no community support for the musicians. There's no community support, at least in the hip hop section. And like, it's slowly building. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not like shitting on the scene. It's just like it's slowly building. But you know, how do we take it to that next level? The the only people supporting it right now seem to be people within the scene which is beautiful and that's what i love about it like the tight-knit community in perth right now everyone knows one another we all know each other we all support each other i I love it there's there's a beautiful vibe going on but you know how do we take it to the people like that's you know us supporting one another can only do so much you know it's yeah it's it's just very it's very interesting it's just something i'm always thinking about like how can we take how can we how can we shift how can you shift the culture like that's what it really comes down to like yes you could say it's one thing like one person just popping like one person really doing it yes but all it's it, there's more to it than that i think i think it's a more collective of it like it's more content it comes like content's a big thing for me i like i'm i'm saying there's a lack of content australian um in australian hip-hop music scene in general from everybody so it can start with that, you know, there needs to be more platforms pushing, it needs to be more, yeah, like just, yeah, more, more platforms and stuff like that. I know there's, there's there's people doing it, there's people doing it in the city right now, it's just, how can we take it to that next level? I don't know, it's just very, it's 
very interesting. And, and like I was talking, I was actually, yeah, the guy I was talking to last night was a good old friend of mine. I haven't spoken to him in a while. And, you know, we were just chatting and we were chatting about this exact thing, right? This kind of cultural thing and uh, this gap between in Perth, you know, from the West Coast to the East Coast. And this, and what he was explaining was like, he totally understood what I was saying from the music side of things. And he was relating it to the financial sector, you know, like the economical sector, um, you know, like he's a stockbroker. Um, he, he, he knows a lot of uh, business people who are, who are doing, you know, the business, um, the blueprints for a lot of uh, building structures within the city. And that's the thing, like Perth is getting like bigger, like economically, a lot of investments coming into the city. You know, we've obviously just seen the Elizabeth Key get built. There's a lot of money being pumped into it from the government and from international investors and whatnot. So like, it's cool to see. And that's just a, that's just a like living proof of how it's starting to shift. When there's like big money being built into infrastructure in a city, that's when you know, like governments are predicting, you know, exponential growth in the city and whatnot. You know, that's why all our freeways and roads have just been like absolutely like refurnished. Like everything's just being widened up, the freeways and stuff. So it's slowly happening, and Perth's gonna be Perth's gonna be huge. Like like it's a it's a fact. Like I don't know how long that's gonna take for it to kind of reach that standard where it's like Perth is a huge like it already is in a way but i mean like next level like literally the sydney of wa like people because people don't come to australia to go to perth like no one does that which is fair enough like 100 percent. but yeah we were just i was talking to him and he was just saying how it's just yeah so very similar and he's talking about like yeah man like i just don't get it there's so much resources here yada yada he's like there's just this gap within the business like people like wanting to do business with people from perth he's like it's so frustrating he's like i just don't know he's like i want to change the culture with like stockbroking in here, you know, I want to build the, and I just loved his, I just loved his vision. It was just beautiful. And that's, and that's what I mean by like internally, I feel like it needs to be more individuals with that, that, um, you know, that cultural shift, that bigger vision to kind of build around one another and support one another but the same way everyone on the East coast is supporting one another. And that's the only way growth can happen. But yeah, look, I'm yeah, I'm not saying I have any answers here. It's just a very interesting topic, and anyone in the city knows exactly what I'm talking about right now with the economical side of it, and specifically the hip hop like music side of things. There's just yeah, very interesting gap, and yeah, lack of communication, and I feel like yeah, lack of awareness from the east coast to the west coast right now. Really, really want to try and try and shift that man, like 100. That's like that's a big big goal of mine. Um, personally and I think it's a big goal of a lot of people in the city right now so it's just yeah I think it's just a matter of I think it's a matter of bringing this to awareness to attention and people actually communicating it more and then communicating it with one another more dropping the egos and then coming up with like yeah coming up with ideas like how can we do this like how can we help how can I help you how can you help me etc etc and then I don't know then it's just a domino chain reaction and things the bigger more people start doing things start popping out the more awareness gets um, gets received and then I don't know then it just goes from there then it just takes the yeah the few individuals to take it to that level just an interesting topic um, that I find super interesting specifically with the music like specifically with the music I find very interesting with this I feel like there's some sort of a gap some sort of invisible wall between it um, between communication awareness yeah just have to see how it plays out I guess just have to see how the next few years go um, we just have to see what happens when you know hip hop really starts taking off in Australia which is very going to be very very soon it's just going to be very interesting to see how at different sides like I want to like see how the east coast takes it as opposed to the west coast in terms of like the actual people like people listening to it because I feel like there's going to be a cultural a huge cultural difference at this rate that we're going in terms of the people still fucking with Australian hip hop there's going to be there's going to be more ratio in these eastern uh, eastern cities it's very interesting i don't know i don't know just a little just a little rant just a little shit that i think about <laughs> so if anyone wants to chat about that hit me up <laughs> like i'm always i'm always that's that um yeah gonna go play some poker hopefully we can ship it don't think i'll vlog this one um obviously just released a third vlog yesterday but um yeah we'll see how we go with that i'll keep you updated on the gram i'll see you guys on the next episode <laughs> have an amazing day everyone much love, young team. Let's go. Monday come around, she on the come now. But she told me she never popped a pill. I should never trust her.